everybody, this is Kodak here, and you might remember a while ago, I did a video um, alerting people to the fact that there were already fake Bakugan on the market, and uh, today's video is a follow-up to that, but I have to say, the counterfeiters have, you know, they've kind of been working double time. I think a lot of them saw my video, because a lot of the entries I'm seeing for these fake Bakugan now, they've kind of gone out of their way to make sure they have the black-headed Howl Core, and uh, they're posting, obviously, fake reviews saying that they're sending out legitimate products, so it's it's kind of an interesting arms race, you know, between uh, between all these, uh, between the reals and the fakes, but like I said in the past, buy from, like, big box stores, uh, from, you know, brick and mortar, from trusted retailers, never buy anything from China, don't buy any of those nine packs that I'm seeing for sale, it's, it's a crazy thing, but today we're going to be taking a look at some other Bakugan imitations. We're going to be taking a look at a couple of trend chasers and a legit fake here. Um, and it involves a little bit of the nature of trend chasing. When anything is successful, a bunch of people try to do the same thing in order to try to get in on that money. You might remember, or I don't know, you might not remember, that when Pokemon exploded, pretty much anything with Mon in its title somewhere was basically approved for television, so it's it's a crazy time to be alive. So what we're looking but anyway, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, some imitations and some straight-up fakes. Our selection today includes two copycat brands, Capsule Boy by Ling Dong Creative, Gigi Bond by Gong Dong Win Sing, along with an actual counterfeit trying to pass itself off as the real deal. Starting off with Capsule Boy by Ling Dong Creative, uh, the idea is that their spacesuits, when they're all folded up, look like the little plastic eggs that you get inside of like the little turn crank machine, and the funny thing is they actually fly a spaceship that looks like one of these machines. They're chasing this totally original design of a character who has these special coins that let him make minions out of anything that can come out of a vending machine. The idea, I'll admit, is actually kind of creative and also borrows some concepts from Toy Story, which I guess is appropriate because it sure looks like how most 3D shows looked over 20 years ago. Makes Donkey Kong Country look like a freaking masterpiece. Yeah, despite its actually kind of creative concept, the show is really bad. The animation, as I showed you, is amateurish, the characters seem to have full-blown psychoses rather than personalities, and the story doesn't really live up to its concept. And judging by the complete lack of engagement I'm seeing online, it's safe to guess it was probably a flop. I mean, I can't even see it anymore on Ling Dong Creative's website, and... Wait a minute, these are the guys who made Eonster Hunter?! What?! Why the heck aren't I talking about that?! Am I crazy?! Have I lost my mind?! Oh my god! Uh, okay, let's just take a look at the toy, shall we? So, uh, this is one of the toys for Capsule Boy, and, uh... You'll notice a few familiar somethings here. For example, these little cards kind of look like the ones you see normally in Mech Card, and uh, we also have one that's hexagon shaped, kind of revealing there. Oh boy. Um, anyway, I'm fairly certain this is a uh, legit toy. It's not a knockoff because we got like that foil sticker up there, up there by uh, the somebody looks like she's uh, from out of Splatoon or something. But she's got like a a foil seal on there. That's how a lot of things tend to authenticate it. Is the foil seal that. Counterfeiters simply won't spring for it now. The packaging is kind of damaged. Then again, I bought this on sort of like a sort of like a flash sale, and it wasn't shipped very well, and it had to come all the way from China. So none of these packages came out unscathed, I'm afraid, and uh, that's especially bad with this uh, nasty uh, damage on the front there that makes it kind of hard to see the character inside. So it does look larger than your typical Bakugan, although it also has the Mechard cards and a gigantic. Uh, a gigantic six-sided uh, thing that it looks kind of like uh, like a large version of the uh, of one of the Hive Matrix cores. But uh, when did this show come out again? Oh dear. Oh well. I think it's probably a coincidence. The uh, the uh, Bakugan Battle Planet cores were designed specifically to allow the Ultra gimmick to work. But uh, problem, I don't know Chinese, so I can't read any of this. Uh, I don't even know kanji all that well. Japanese and uh, Chinese use the same kanji. Chinese uses all kanji. Oh, AR, huh? So I think there's like some sort of special augmented reality app that these things are tied to. It might, I think it actually mentions that on the website. The only thing in Capsule Boy that's mentioned on the website. But it does use a blister card. I Like I said, I think this thing is more chasing mech card than it is Bakugan. I, I, it might be chasing both because it does use the, the orb, but it has the mech card cards over here. Um, it has the big bubble packaging that you see 
on these sorts of toys. Take a quick look on the back here. We can see the other hideous characters. We've got um, totally not Vladiator over here or Darth Vader or whatever. I think he's supposed to be more like Dark Helmet because he's the only character in the show who like spends as much time in their power suit as possible. So I think he's kind of supposed to be like Dark Helmet where he's clearly compensating for something. I can't read, like I said, I can't read a, a word of this, um, but it's clear that there's supposed to be a card game involved along with the cores. Um, we have our uh, we have our heroes down here. We have the villain over here. It's kind of Emperor Zerg with a hook who can't decide which of his hands has a hook on it. So uh, is is it on his is it on his uh, his left hand or his right hand? Make up your mind, game designers. Okay, but uh, let's take a look at this thing opened up. And here we have the contents of the pack. Now, I'm sure some of you have noticed, hey, where did this trading card come from? I didn't see that before. And that's because it was actually sort of uh, crammed in, like, the bottom portion of the packaging here. So it's actually, like, all bent out of shape. I assume this is supposed to be whatever the augmented reality thing is talking about. I assume this sort of crane tank here with a minigun on top for some reason is your... Uh, like augmented reality reward for buying the toy although uh the toy itself um uh, has a lot going on here we have uh, the big core here on the reverse side is our character stats here we have uh, our octoling up here i have no idea what her name is supposed to be i cannot make heads or tails of chinese i'm afraid and uh, it has a bunch of stats on here and each of the stats i notice correlates to a different weapon type for example she has uh a correlation to this gun here and uh, I assume that means that they get better synergy bonuses if they have more matching cards and the stronger cards seem to be the ones with more stars on the side here so straight up mech card ripoff that much is uh, pretty much solid here although the fact that it has six different attributes implies that it's a ripoff of uh, a certain other show that I'm sure you've heard of before although one thing that surprised me about these cards is they, they actually feel really nice they're all made with this sort of uh this sort of matte paper this actually feels really heavy and nice the cards feel like they're actually of a decent quality so they actually put a bit of money down on uh making these cards they feel they feel nice they have some good snap to them the only thing that doesn't feel good is the uh, is the ar card here which uh you know that was clearly because of a, a packaging mistake but otherwise you know things feel okay uh Although, like I said before, I can't read Chinese, so I can't really make heads or tails of the instructions. I have no idea what's going on here. They have instructions that show it being dropped on there. They have instructions that show it being rolled on there. They have this thing where you make, like, a weird spoke out of all the, uh, what I assume are supposed to be ability cards. It's, uh, kind of a mess. I'm not sure how much I can show you about it, but, uh, at least we can see how this thing opens. Okay, so interesting thing about our little uh, capsule fighter here. It actually has a randomizer dial behind the back, which is uh, works kind of like Preus or uh, whatever. It actually, like, changes. It, like, randomly rolls for, uh, I guess, which buff you're supposed to use on the ability card. It looks like here it could roll for uh, either guns. Or it could roll for, look like, practically anybody. It could roll for guns or a shield or something like that. So I guess maybe that determines which... Uh, power you use either on the card itself or on whatever ability card you play so you don't just play straight run versions of each character you actually want to try to mix it up a little bit that that might be kind of interesting but again it's uh it's not exactly a very good show this is attached to although like i said i'm kind of amazed at the quality i'm looking at here we have like ink drawn patterns on here and this isn't like custom work no this is this is how the darn thing came out it's uh I mean the head here can't the head there can't be posed, but uh, it's got a lot of ink drawings on there. It's got these these funny eyes. It's got uh, hair that also makes up the shoulders. Uh, well, the back doesn't really have much going on there, but uh, still, it's a lot of work for uh, this little toy here. So that's that's actually kind of an interesting an interesting uh, an interesting thing there. It certainly has a lot more going for it than your typical Bakugan, but then again, it's except for the head, all of these. Uh, little battle suits look like they share the same mold so it's really just a lot of uh, artwork going into a, a single character design with uh, a randomizer dial in the back so 
very basic, not too hard to find on AliExpress. And this, like I said, this feels like a higher quality product. So if, if you want something really weird that nobody's heard of and apparently nobody likes, then uh, Capsule Boy's a toy for you. Up next we have Gigi Ban by Gong Dong Win Sing, and I know I'm wincing, I can tell you that much. I mean, look at this, it's just a larger pack of guns with a gate card and the show is about weird little pig people? Come on, that's just ridiculous. I mean, how long do you think this thing's been around? Like, one, one, maybe two years? No. Okay, so it turns out GG Bond has actually been around even longer than Bakugan has, making it start back in 2005 where it looked like one of those video Bryn Cueto nightmares you've probably seen covered in somebody else's videos, but it must be like the Chinese Spongebob or something because this darn brand has sticking power, like the theme song that gets stuck in your head even if you don't know Chinese. Oh, GG Bond, oh, but the quirk about Gigi Bond is that, even though it's been around for a long time, each season is made like a completely different show. It might be a Power Rangers send-up, or a space show, or in the case of season 14, yes, really, a show about... Dodgeball. Yeah, this big ball here isn't supposed to be like a marble or a baseball, it's supposed to be a dodgeball. Man, Battle Planet would be very different if dodgeballs were involved, huh? You will not disrupt fate, get And while there are actual monsters, it's not like these things turn into monsters that fight. Instead, they behave more like a sta a persona, which powers up their dodgeball skills. I mean, it's still obvious what they're copying here, but at least they've taken it into a somewhat creative direction, and it certainly is a lot better animated than Capsule Boy is. Their official YouTube channel has a lot of episodes on it, even a few in English here and there. That's it, I'm done. If you want me to go further down the Gigi Bond rabbit hole, just leave a comment below and maybe I'll get around to it or something. But same with Eonster Hunter. But I still have the toy to review, so we are going to review it, so... <laughs> Yeah, this one seems a lot starker than the one we got before. We have here uh, the uh, Gigi Bond toy. We have what looks like a significantly larger uh, product here. This is a lot larger than uh, Bakugan. It's even larger than the Capsule Boy I had before. So this is going to be uh, quite something. Although, despite all the really fancy packaging with like this whirlwind around it, it's... Uh, it seems like its contents are surprisingly austere. From here, it looks like it's just this little character and this little card featuring a, a little pink phoenix on it, which is kind of funny seeing as it's a an orange ball, but the character is supposed to be pink. And over here, I guess we have Miss Piggy, the younger years. It's, it's even blonde like Pit Miss Piggy. Wow. So it looks like it also uses some sort of dial system if we're going on the bottom here. And... Uh, I know from here the packaging looks fine, but uh, I did say that all of these got damaged in shipping, and if we turn it around... Yep! <laughs> I honestly have no idea how this managed to happen, how it managed to get smacked in, because nothing's like, nothing's like broken anywhere, it just, the packaging just got <laughs> smooshed in the back there. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, they actually have a window that goes all the way through so you can see everything happening here. We also have kind of a little lever that's kind of poking out of the ball there. I'm not sure what that's about, but we have some more pictures here. We have a picture of the character opened up and we have a picture of another toy where it looks like the characters are flattened into cards and then unfold into full monsters. That's another thing about Gigi Bond is they have so many different freaking toys. It feels like they're like throwing stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks. Capsule Boy 2 actually has uh, Capsule Boy 2 actually has a, a lot of uh, different toys now that I look at it. They have these uh, robot suits in a variety of sizes. I imagine there's also, like, a toy for the, the crane tank thing. But uh, Gigi Bond, oh my god. They have these things. They have action figures. They have wristwatches. They have characters that transform. They have characters that combine. My goodness, do they have a lot of stuff going on. So, uh... Like I said, it looks fairly austere in here. We can actually kind of, like I said, it looks fairly austere in here. We can kind of take a look at what's inside. And it looks like it's just that one card. Or there might be two in there. It looks like it might have gotten bent in transit. Like I said, I got these things on the cheap. So let's take a look inside. 
Yeah, I was right. This uh, selection here is pretty dang austere. It really is just the uh, dodgeball and the uh, little card with the bird on it. And there's nothing on the back except a, a logo that also looks like a bird. And uh, that's kind of strange. Yeah, it, it doesn't even contain any instructions. And that's because it is freaking rock, paper, scissors. Uh, if you can see that there, it's, it's, it's a rock, paper, scissors with a randomizer on it. A, a lot of these things actually have randomizers on it. So does the uh, the the one from the, the company that made Swirl Fighters. They uh, had a knockoff Bakugan as well, and it, they were all, every single one, dice throwers. I wasn't able to find one of those to buy, but maybe I'll take a look. The only ones I saw were like $50 or something. But yeah, it has like a, a little ripcord back here that winds up a randomizer, and you just, uh, it's... Remarkably simple. You just uh, plunk the character down onto the card and it springs open. It's I'm not even going to give that a, a, a moment here. And here we have uh, Miss Piggy in the middle, T-posing for dominance. Let's see if I can get some light on that. T-posing for dominance under a very, very, very basic sort of bird shape. Again, in orange, even though the character is technically supposed to be pink. But... Uh, that's the kind of stuff we're dealing with here. It's it's really hard to make out without the assistance of the light, but there are actually like uh, numbers and stuff on there. I'll get some close-ups of that to tell you uh, whether you've uh, rolled rock, paper, or scissors and a tiebreaker number. So uh, our Phoenix girl here has a nine and a five on paper. So she's very strong on paper, although it's a randomizer. So uh, who knows what could happen? Two thirds of the time, it won't even matter. But yeah, this here is a, uh, pretty naked um attempt at mimicking bakugan and you know this one i mean i mean capsule fighter at least uh, capsule boy at least looked like it had a game to it we'll see what happens with uh eonster hunter if i ever talk about this but this is just a glorified rock paper scissors machine and that you know that just doesn't fly for me uh, get it fly because because it's a bird and finally, we have our counterfeit. This isn't some trend-chasing copycat. This is actually trying to convince people that this is legitimate product. There are hundreds of these things online. I did a whole video about them, and they are all over the place, and they are constantly changing up their game to try to fool you. And uh, I guess I should be happy that I got them to blink, but it bears repeating. If you're gonna buy these toys, buy them from legit retailers. Buy them from brick and mortar stores or trusted outlets. Don't buy anything that ships from China. Don't buy any of these nine packs I've been seeing out there. And even if you don't care that you're buying a fake, Keep in mind, these counterfeiters don't really care if their product is safe. A lot of that stuff is made with stuff from questionable sources, particularly things that tend to be colored white. The cheapest way to color those things is to use lead. So, uh... <sighs> gloves on, kiddos. It's gotta be noted that this is a historic episode, as this is the first time I've ever deliberately bought a counterfeit toy for one of my videos. <clears throat> Deliberately. I see you in the comments down there. I've never bought a fake Bakugan before, and technically I still haven't, because this is actually a knockoff of a Mechard toy. A toy that's supposed to be made of clear plastic, because, you know, it's supposed to be a ghost. And here it is, the big one. Yes, I really am wearing gloves. That wasn't a joke. I am legitimately terrified of uh, what this thing might do to me. So, this is the imitation Bakugan that I purchased online, and... You'll notice I've actually had to stack a bunch of cores under here to keep it standing up, and that's because the packaging job is so lousy on here that it is impossible for it to stand up on its own. So this is something that it's passing itself off as a legitimate Bakugan toy. Oh, wow, they there's even a checklist in there, man. Jeez, this thing is really kind of pulling out all the stops. But this, I guarantee you, is a fake. It is a forgery. It is not the real deal. Although, it, by, by a lot of appearances, I mean, the packaging is smushed because of the lousy shipping I got, but um, there are a lot of signs that you can tell that this is fake. And if you don't think this looks fake, you will see a little further on that uh, it gets even worse. So, now, um, in order to actually uh, confirm just how fake this thing is, uh, it's upper body day, so I think I need to... Uh, flex a little bit so here are examples of the real packaging that uh, 
this thing is ripping off. Honestly, it's it's kind of it, it, it should you know like discredit me immediately that I'm daring to put uh, a fairly real, rare diamond and a really rare diamond on the same screen as a fake Bakugan, but um, this will show us really what we're dealing with here. So the packaging, as you can see, is designed to be similar in size to a Bakugan Ultra, as you can see over here, and it's designed uh, to more closely resemble the core packaging with a picture of Dragonoid on it. Now, this is the picture off of the core Dragonoid card versus the uh, Dragonoid Ultra that the regular Bakugan has. I actually have no idea why they actually bothered to change how the packaging looks. You'd think they'd just straight up copy how the packaging looks to try to uh, make it look as convincingly real as possible, but they didn't do that. Instead, they just kind of yutzed around with it. Although one thing they did do is uh, they changed the character on the front of the cover from Dan over to Shun. And this is something that none of the lines have done. A lot of people said that they'd like to see that, but they never did anything but Dan. And in fact, you can see how the packaging cutout is still designed to resemble the packaging cutout they have for Dan Kuzo with all the extra hair spikes here, which Shun doesn't have. Instead, it's just like this sort of weird, empty void around him. And uh, another thing, this is something that was very distinguishing for a lot of them. It'll say, like, Bakugan, Diamond Dragonoid, or Bakugan Ultra, Diamond Pegatrix. The text boxes for all of the fakes of pretty much any quality that I've seen have all had something different there, like Battle Action, Let's Fight Together. And it says, the, the name they instead pasted down here, Bakugan Fighter Aquos. I don't know if they were working with, like, an out-of-date version of the uh of the uh the uh, this is definitely not aquos first of all it's not blue and it's definitely not cindius it's got a picture of cindius there um uh, i don't like i said i don't know why they bothered to change it because this this looks like a laughable fake i don't know if it's to try to give them plausible deniability when they're freaking using the bakugan logo up at the top here and bakugan art assets and all of that um it's weird a lot of fakes like especially like fake pokemon cards have gotten really sophisticated you can hardly tell a fake one from the packaging but here they just you know make a mockery of that um it, it has a number of other things here too like it says two energy cards right here it actually says baku cores on the bottom here underneath the uh kind of hard to see when it's a bit dropped down like that but underneath it it says uh baku cores underneath there and it has you know it, it this thing only looks like it has one back of core i think the other one is like stuffed behind there like i said this thing was damaged and stuff was falling out of it when when i actually received it um but uh, it also has like pictures of the cards over here and it has a picture of lightning but it doesn't actually have uh this like cardboard backer card here this is something that i think if you're trying to avoid fakes you need to look for is this cardboard backer card it actually conceals the cards contained inside the uh inside the actual toy um like i said none of the packaging will have a character other than dan on the front they won't say like bakugan fighter aquos you can see it says battle action on the side here whereas the legitimate ones say battle brawlers although they stopped using this stripe on the side after wave four so if the stripe is missing it's probably real you can also see how crisp and bright the Bakugan Battle Planet logo is versus the uh, this very dark and kind of ugly high contrast one that looks like it's printed with way too much black ink. Anyway, uh, I've had to keep this thing supported, but uh, also rather than the Spin Master logo that you see on the uh, regular toy, it instead has the uh, symbol for Aquos and the symbol for Bakugan. So, and of course we have the character inside here. He looks kind of weird here but the ears are supposed to spring up and he's actually supposed to be like a rabbit but it's clear that the springs aren't working properly well oh, because it's a fake what a concept uh so here we take a look at the back here and again we have the uh legitimate products for comparison so core and ultra both will have a picture of the character included inside the box for the original battle planet we also have uh, a different sort of striped pattern on there although this one also kind of tries to say talk about the app there take your game to the next level um 
But it doesn't have a picture of the character inside, although that's because Bakugan does not have art assets of that character. Because, like I said, it's not a Bakugan character. It is a different character, although... This is kind of an interesting touch here, actually having the characters, you know, rather than, you know, advertising the additional characters, they have, like, the characters from the show, like, springing out at you, and they actually have Dan's hand overlapping this top here. It kind of makes me wonder if this was, like, an early draft of the packaging, and that's how it wound up uh, in the hands of, uh, in the hands of other, other folks there. Specifications, colors, and contents may vary from illustrations uh, like i like i'm wondering and it says uh it says it says challenge challenge only applies to bakugan ultra this is supposed to be how difficult it is to open and close them they also tend to include instructions uh contents include one battle arena wow they crammed an entire battle arena into this one little package one exclusive deformation ball two deformation ball course deformation this is something you're going to see a lot it's 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 a bad chinese translation with the word deformation on there um if you can if it like you, you can ask to see if it like like the deform it, that this is like transforming or something like that they instead use deformation for uh to reference things like the things that uh, transform like if you if you go to aliexpress and you google like deformation ball that's how you're going to find all this stuff although like i said don't buy it i bought this it's technically not a duplicate bakugan um and i'm doing it just to show you guys what to avoid and it has a picture of the arena on the back they clearly took the uh, the instruction from the arena, because there's the, the Aquas Dragon that comes with the arena. This is clearly the art assets for the battle arena that they took, instead of what they should have had, which would be the assets for the characters. That's how the real ones look. They have the pictures of the characters on the back. They also have uh, a peg hook that has... Uh, it has an opening here, so you can actually, like... So, um, in, like, the store, if you, if you like, like, page through the characters and... The one you want is behind like five. You don't have to take off those other four to pull what you want. You can just kind of take it off the shelf. This thing doesn't have that. It has a standard a standard hole punch, which you see uh, in a lot of other products. It recycles the uh, leap open. It just says leap open. It doesn't say the leap open Baku action, which you get on, again, the uh, legitimate uh, properties. Again, you can also see that the line art on here is very, very coarse very coarse and dark like it was sort of copy pasted and they just kind of threw the through like the fill tool on there through like 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 the line the stroke tool that's what it's called um are you ready let's fight together rather than saying how do you roll bakugan.com uh you'll also notice um i'd have to lift it up which is a dangerous proposition but these have uh, the barcodes on them this one actually has the the gamestop barcode because i bought it at gamestop but this one has a regular barcode on the bottom this one doesn't have any kind of barcode of any sort on the bottom there it just says back a gun back a gun back a gun back a gun like some sort of madness mantra um <laughs> but yeah this is their attempt to copy it i imagine it would not surprise me if the counterfeiters have already moved on from this packaging since i pointed it out before i'm seeing a lot more of them use the stock images that look like the real deal like i said you gotta be careful to avoid fakes a lot of them are selling through amazon and that frightens me because a lot gets sold through Amazon. Anyway, time for that uh, dreaded next step where I open it. Let's uh, give uh, my diamonds over here some cover away from here as I uh, <clears throat> cover my mouth with my shirt. And uh, uh, don't try this at home, kids. So... I actually had to tape this thing shut because it was like halfway open when I got it. So that's what's going on here. Um, oh, it's stuck. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at these. Now, Bakugan Battle Planet, the Ultras are supposed to come with one black-backed character card and one red-backed uh, ability card. However, both of these, if you turn them over are character cards, neither of which match the character inside or even try to come close to the character inside. And they're made on this, like, really, like, cheap, like, thick card stock that's... <laughs> the, these things, even through the gloves, I can tell how cheap these feel. You can see, like, the 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 text isn't quite properly aligned. It's, it's uh, the... the Text is very dark. The, the The cards are actually smaller than they ought to be. They're very, very poorly aligned. Um, although, uh, 
An interesting note about them is that, uh, yeah, the the text, it's sort of a gray, whereas the real ones will be either white or black, depending on the card they're on. Um, Maxator Ultra lists its ability, and it's it's not even the right one. Um, and they actually took the, uh, took the, uh, there, there's, there's no, on the bottom of the card, there's no copyright information, but one thing they did do was they basically copy and pasted the character biographies from, uh, off of the website, and, uh, printed them onto the cards. So, they're trying to make it look like a real card, but, no, nah, these, these aren't it. Like I said, one of them, the, they put Maxator on the black back, and Cindius on the, red back and like i said it, it's it's printed very very darkly it, it 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 doesn't look right it's definitely not trading card material if anything it feels like a cheap cardboard insert it, it looks like i can even like see the marks where they like punched this thing out of the out of the, the the stamp it was it was in so yeah not uh not very good quality cards. Uh, let's get these cores out of here. Moving on, let's uh, get into the actual content. So we have the two cores here. Oh man, these things <laughs> feel light and flimsy, and you know their their color is off. Like here's the here's the uh, the the shield core from the package. Here's what a real one looks like. You can see it has a, a much much darker, much bluer color scheme. You can clearly make out a lot of the lines it has some copyright data on the bottom this thing is just you know a flimsy little piece of garbage and they also uh man they're already like kind of yellowed my god this is gross uh they're also not properly aligned on the back i would be surprised if these things actually had any metal in them they might i guess they'd kind of have to in order to transform the toy but uh yeah yellowed nasty nasty garbage and finally we have uh our piss De Resistance, the uh, fake Bakugan, the uh, not Bakugan. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a Mechard toy, technically. But uh, ugh, geez, this thing is uh, flimsy and not well sprung. Although something odd is they actually do. Oh yeah, it won't. It won't. Oh, there we go. I actually got it to close. But one thing that's interesting about it is that it actually does have metallic paint on it. I wasn't. Uh, I honestly was not, you know, expecting that from such a lousy toy, but yeah, it's got, it's got very, very nasty feeling, like highly reflective, uh, plastic, although I guess they'd want to have it smoother on here because they want it to be made out of the clear plastic in the original line, and yeah, it won't, it won't even stay shut, I don't even know if it opens using these, uh, does it, does it open using these? Oh yeah, I guess it does, I guess they do have a, a piece of metal in there, but yeah, it's not even opening properly. Uh, let's see if I can give it a little help there. Yeah, it needs uh, all the help it can get. So even for what it really is imitating, it's a pretty, pretty lousy example. It doesn't even have like a printed B power on it or anything. And like I said, it doesn't match any of the character cards on there because again, this is not a Bakugan character. If you see this sort of rabbit, if you see it in like its pure white form, it's it's definitely absolutely a fake honestly wow like like it, it doesn't even have any good springs it has absolutely no springs on the ears it's just you know it's it's pitiful is what it is I'm gonna gonna keep this thing on archive gonna hermetically seal it so that it can't hurt anybody else oh i'm gonna have to where where's the the video where they show how the doctors who were treating ebola threw away their gloves because you know i don't want to I don't even want to touch these gloves, man. Whew. And there we have it. That's a look at uh, a couple of imitators of Bakugan and one flat-out knockoff. Uh, honestly, to me, um, I was actually kind of surprised by a couple of these. I was surprised that uh, Capsule Boy actually received a decent amount of care despite the show being so bad, and a, a wee bit disappointed with uh, how the Gigi Bond one turns out, although the uh, counterfeit was about as terrible as expected. But... Uh, it, it kind of goes to show that what goes on out there. I mean, trend chasers I have a bit of a problem with, but if they're providing, like, a steady alternative, like, if it's an answer to problems in uh, in the regular franchise, then, you know, I actually don't have a problem with seeing some variety of similar things. You know, you have genres for a reason. Heck, uh, they're called, like, rogue-like games because they're games that are like rogue, but they're still very popular. Um... 
Of course, where the problem comes in is when they make a fake. A fake tends to be lousy quality because, you know, it's a fake. They really don't care. So that's why I'm saying, you know, even if you don't care whether or not you're buying a fake, keep in mind that they don't care if their product is safe. So you got to be careful about that. At least with Capsule Boy and Gigi Bond, they at least kind of had to get these toys approved to some level of safety standards, unlike this fake here. So if you want to check out some of the alternatives, like uh, Gigi Bond or like Capsule Boy or even like Eonster Hunter, I, I, which, you know, maybe I should talk about that in the future. Eonster Hunter, I think, should probably get its own video because it is such a brazen knockoff. And you know what? Like I said, I'm happy to talk about Gigi Bond 2. It's actually a pretty fascinating little rabbit hole you go down when you take a look at that. Anyway, that is a look at a couple of imitators and one straight up fake. Until next time, this is Kodak signing off.